Hello, hello, welcome back, and today I'm going to show you guys how to work a little bit faster in Adobe Illustrator. So some of this stuff you may already know, some of it you may not, so I really hope it helps. But anywho, let's get right into it. And before we do, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and share. And yeah, you're awesome for that. Thank you. Anyways, so one of the first things I learned in Adobe Illustrator that really helps are these corner widgets, right? So when I first started using Adobe Illustrator, I actually didn't have that. And I seen in, in a bunch of tutorials that they had, they had them, right? And I was just like, how do I do that? Like I go here and then I go here and then I'm like trying to figure out how to actually get that, right? Now, some, most of you or some of you may already know this and some of you may not, right? But if you don't, first go to view and then go to show corner widgets. And this is extremely helpful, right? Now here, yes, you can go in and make a rounded um, rectangle, but it's not gonna be as rounded as this, right? Instead of going in and uh, for example, making a regular square and then using the uh, direct selection tool, going in and then going like this and trying to, I don't know, make it round somehow, which this works depending on what you're trying to do, right? So for example, here I have this, so it's not bad, right? But when you have the widgets available as well, you can actually do that. For example, I click here on this one and I can just round that one off. And then this one, is just straight so you can make some really cool um some really cool shapes that way all right so that's the first one that i wanted to show you guys the corner widgets very useful right now the second thing and this is probably one of the most important things i can tell you is learn the shortcuts for example i know that v is for the selection tool right so let me do this and let's say i want to move this but if i don't switch I'm gonna lose a little bit of time, not that much, going back over here, clicking on it, and then moving it around, right? Uh, so if I just uh, press V on the keyboard, I already have this. Now, to select the corners, instead of going all the way over here, I just press A and that's it, right? It really speeds up the process on uh, what you're actually doing, right? Now, another thing, if you right click, you get these options right so that's tip number two learn the shortcuts and that's as easy as just going to for example adobe illustrator i can't type keyboard shortcuts right google it you can go to the main website and it's a pain like you can you can find it and everything so here's some really cool good ones right working with documents and, and so on. Now, for me, I just like to hover over it and it tells you, right? Direct selection tool, A. Selection tool, V. Rectangle tool, M. And this is, this is really useful. For example, I have M right away and then L, which is the ellipse tool, ta-da. So it really saves time, right? And then as you notice, I actually switch to the uh, selection tool very easily right uh, and then shift M is gonna be for the uh, shape builder tool now ah, I didn't want to do that there we go right so it really helps having all these shortcuts right um, now another thing you can do is Pathfinder let's see v select all of them and boom right so pathfinder is another thing that i use a lot right so i can use the pathfinder to um let's say unite and then i can also minus front which saves me some time or alt and then click uh which makes it into a compound shape right so it's sort of like grouping it but not grouping it but anywho uh, let's see, Alt, 
Yeah, if you notice, if you hover over, it says Alt-click to create compound shape and add to shape area, right? So anywho, these are all very good tools, very good shortcuts that you guys should definitely learn, right? Now, another thing I want to show you is this. So taking those things in cons into consideration, we have the paintbrush tool and the pencil tool. So br the paintbrush tool is the shortcut B, right? But here's something really cool. If you double click on that, you get this, right? So I'm using a mouse right now because my stylus kind of sort of died. Um, so this really helps, right? So if I lower this to accurate, right? I can, I can do this, and if you notice, it's very accurate to what I'm actually drawing. So the issue there is that it's not really smooth, right? Now, if I double click on it and I put smooth, let's do the same thing again, right? So I do this, and you notice it smooths it out, right? So over here, hee <laughs> hee. Anyways, over here, this really helps. Right, because with these two, if I go to the brush tool, right, and then I do this, and then let's say I wanted to draw something else, right, then I combine it with the shape builder tool, right, and there we go. Now, it made my process a lot faster, right? So these things are very, very useful and you work a lot faster. So over here we have a few other options, right? Fill new brush strokes, keep selected, edit selection path, uh, and within, let's say 13 pixels. So for example, if I go like this, what was I gonna do? All right, so let's zoom this up. And sometimes it'll join it, but or maybe I'm wrong. Or was that the uh, pencil tool? Anywho, so same thing, right? We have uh, this one. That's what it was. Close paths where uh, when ends within, let's say, 20 pixels, right? So over here, I can actually uh, do the same thing, right? If I make it accurate, I have this very, I'm going to increase the brush stroke, but I have this very not so circular circle. Right, if that's even a word. And then if I double click on it again, and I increase the smoothness, yes, I'm drawing a circle when I have the ellipse tool. It makes no sense. But if you notice, it really smooths it out. Right, now I'm just gonna copy and paste in position. So Control Shift, uh, Control C to copy, Control Shift V to paste in. Now I could just, Control V and it puts it anywhere, right? Um, so let's see. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Uh huh. Da -da -da -da. There we go. I have an eyeball now. <laughs> Anywho, the thing is that these tools are extremely useful. Uh, sorry, not tools. Shortcuts. So if you know these tips, you're gonna be able to do a lot of work a lot faster, right? You guys will be able to really speed up your process in the cre in creation, right? So that's, that's pretty much it. Now, one more thing, right? Uh, let me see if it's gonna help. So I just used the brush tool, right? And over here, you notice it automatically puts it in five point round. I can change this to basic. I'm gonna increase this a little bit. And then this is another tool that's extremely useful. It is the width tool, right? Or shift W. And this is an extremely useful tool because if you notice, I just went in and made a brush stroke and then I just increased the, in, increased, increased, I can't really, yeah, I, I can't talk today. <laughs> but anywho, so if you notice over here, it's sort of like not rounded or not pointy, it's just squared. I can actually go in and if I click on that, I can make it pointed, right? So I'm just gonna do this 
and same thing over here. Ta-da! It is official, and also, I'm going to remove the fill, right? So this looks like a, what, eyebrow? Like an anime, not anime, cartoonish eyebrow. Um, now, what I can do, and here's another tip, right? If you think, okay, this is great, and I've showed you guys this in other videos that I made. Uh, also, if you like what you're seeing so far, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, because it really helps. Uh, most of you that have watched my videos are not subscribed, so please, it helps. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Anywho, let's get back to it, right? So, if I make this line, and let's say I really like this. I don't want to, like, keep making lines like that, like, going in and then changing this to basic and i can also do this right i can also do this and just increase it uh but if you notice it really it, it doesn't look the same right so let's say i wanted to use this i'm gonna go over here and where uh, brushes here we go brushes right and uh you can make your own brushes so let's say you make a bunch of custom brushes you can actually save your brushes and then use them in later projects right but anywho so you want to select the the what you want to use as a brush right in this case it's just gonna be the stroke I'm gonna go to new brush I'm gonna use pattern right and then I can rename it right so let's say eyebrow for example this is probably not the best one but anywho uh, then you also have the auto centered, auto in between, auto slice. Sometimes it's just kind of like none, right? It can help. Now you have auto center. It really just depends on what you want to do. And I also use tints and shades, right? So then, okay. And now if I go in and make a new uh, line, right, with this, I can increase the, I can, ooh, that looks good. Anyways, I can increase the stroke size and it can give me different styles, right? That's one. But another thing I can do is I can actually change, because I chose tints and shades, I can actually change the color. Let's make it red. And sometimes, sometimes it won't work. So what I do in that case is I go over here I double click on the one I just made and actually change it to tints, right? And apply to strokes and ta-da, there we go. So this is another useful tip and I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far, right? Um, so you can always, you can always do this. Uh, also what I like to do is I like to make sure that the color is, um, is black because that way, I don't know, it, it's just something I like. Now, one last thing I'm going to show you guys, and that is, well, two things. No, just one. If I go over here, I right click, right? And then I go to transform, rotate. Let's say I'm going to rotate this 45 degrees, right? And I can choose preview. Why isn't it not? Oh, I'm dumb. Uh, that's not what I want to show you. So R, right? To rotate. That's what I want to show you. Press Alt, and then I would say about here. So if you press Alt, you automatically go into the Rotate option. And I'm going to do 45 degrees, right? Make sure you have Preview on so you can actually see. All right, there we go. Now, that's good and all, but I like to use Control D to really go over and do this, right? So this which really cool looks complicated but not really it's just copying the thing the same thing that you just did over and over and it gives you some really neat um some really neat uh shapes sometimes but the thing is what really helps is using the r short r keyboard right rotate tool and then pressing alt and then clicking where from where you want the object to rotate right and then just preview and copy don't click ok because if you click ok it rotates your original object now if that's what you want to do that's perfectly fine right 
So, uh, copy and then control D so you can do that multiple times. That's not bad. That actually looks interesting. I wonder. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. Anywho. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much for today. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to know more, don't forget to subscribe. I am doing a lot of tutorials in Adobe Illustrator, but I will probably also start using other uh, programs, right? And if you guys want to see a specific program, if I have not learned that program, that's okay. I'm going to learn it anyways and show you guys what I can do. Or not what I can do, but what you can do, right? Different tips and tricks. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. It really helps. And I will catch you guys next time. Have an amazing, blessed day and see you. Bye.